Hello, boys and girls. It's me, your host, Fried Octopus. We're finally playing a new game. Huh, I don't know about you guys, but I thought Knit Stories was never gonna end. So, what game are we playing today? We're playing Wonder Boy 3, which is one of my favorite games from my childhood. Unbeknownst to you is the fact that the dragon has the power to invoke curses on his enemies. This is us, Wonder Boy. It might come as a shock to you kids, but do you remember that game Wonder Boy that you played in the arcade when you were a kid? Yeah, well, <clears throat> it's a little known fact, but that game had two sequels, and then more besides. Uh, two sequels on the Master System, then they went on to make Monster World uh, 4 on the Mega Drive. Uh, it was an odd thing because, I mean, obviously you've got Wonder Boy 1, the caveman game about friggin' cavemen, and then in Japan they brought out Monster World, but I guess it was one of those cases where they thought us gaijin barkers wouldn't be able to handle a game that was, um not related to an existing series, so Monster World became Wonder Boy 2, uh, Wonder Boy and Monster World, and this is the final boss of that game. Mecha Dragon! This guy is one hard-ass bastard. He is a dragon that is also a robot. If you needed any more reason to be terrified, there you go, he's also a robot. Um, it's quite a dramatic twist ending that, uh, all of Wonder Boy 2, you're under the impression, oopsie daisy, we missed out on getting all the gold. I'm so ashamed. Anyway, in all of Wonder Boy 2, <coughs> you go through the entire game in this medieval fantasy world, and then at the very end, the final boss reveals that shock, shock. He was a... he was a robot all along. He was a robot built by the villains of this game. And at the very end of the game, he does not turn Wonder Boy into a dragon. But by gum, that's as might, that's as might as well what have happened. So that's why in this game, we start basically at the exact end of that game, and here we are, we're a dragon! Aren't we just the cutest little dragon you ever saw? Yes you are! Yes you are! He's the cutest little dragon! Anyway, um, Monster World 1 and 2, or Wonder Boy 2 and 3 respectively, were both very solid fantasy themed uh, platformers with some RPG elements, which you'll be seeing uh, there's a comprehensive shop system, there's a menu screen, which we'll bring up here, with all sorts of fancy stuff that we'll get into later. There's a door we can't unlock. Um, it also has that common fantasy game trope, skeletons, and as we'll be encountering later, skeletons and top hats. There he is! Skeletons in top hats. You guys thought I was lying to you, didn't you? Now, um, I don't want to harp on about the master system, but, uh, yeah, you know, this game, this game was freely available at the same time as the NES, um, I think it came out around about the same time as Robo Demons, possibly? We'll look into that. Um, but why would you play? this when you could play Robo Demons, you know? God, the Ness, huh? Yeah, like I said, I don't want to make any enemies for life, so I'm not going to badmouth the Ness too much, but, um, whenever I want to, whenever I want to get someone to shut the hell up about the Ness, this is the game I usually cite, because honestly, look at these graphics. This is an 8-bit system. Listen to this music. How does this console not rock? Anyway, this has been episode one of Let's Play Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Let's go end this episode on a high note with a... Wow! You're not the nurse from the PAL version. You're just as good, wow. Holy crap. 
Yeah, we'll cure that shit as soon as we have some money, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this has been episode one of Let's Play Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap. Thanks for watching!